Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Code Along uh, on this Friday morning. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be making a scratch project, and we're not going to be making a game today. What we're going to be making is different patterns, different visual patterns. I'm going to create those through code in Scratch. So something a little, a little bit different today. Uh, I hope you're all doing well and you're you're getting ready for the midterm break the, and Halloween coming up soon. Um, as we're just waiting for everyone to arrive uh, and get set up, I'll just go through um, what we did last week uh, and look at some of the competition entries. So last week we created a project called Autonomous Car. So let me switch to presenting and pull up the code along last week. So last week we did an autonomous car project uh, and in that we programmed a car to go around the track all by itself. So no one driving it, no one giving it instructions apart from a, a computer detecting and sensing the track and the road and driving around. So I gave you all a challenge which was to add in your own ideas into the project and then submit them into our Codiverse um, and that where we, we'd review them and start looking at them. So we Oh, let me just refresh. Okay, here we go. So uh, there were some great entries, uh, really, really good. What I will qu quickly say before we look at the winner was that some people did submit their entries, but that you didn't share them on Scratch. So if we take this one here, if I click on it, uh, and when I click on it, it should run the project. It's going to give this message. And that's because there was one step you didn't do, unfortunately, when you were submitting it. So when you are submitting a project uh, into Coding Ireland, um, we have instructions here on how to share a project in Scratch. It's very important that you click on this uh, share button in Scratch. And what that does is it makes your project public and uh, so different people can, can see it once they have the link, the URL to it. And um, so it's very important to click on that button first before you copy the link and put it in here and submit it here to Coding Ireland. Otherwise, unfortunately, we do get a little thumbnail or preview of, of these projects, but a lot of them we can't actually see and look at and review uh, because you didn't uh, share it on, on Scratch. So again, just make sure you click on that orange share button on the Scratch website first before you get the link and submit it to ourselves. Anyway, Let's take a look at the, the winner. So this, um, we're gonna be giving away, what we said is we'd give away a microbit to the winner uh, of this competition. So a microbit is a little programmable, programmable computer, if you don't know about them. You can, uh, they've got different buttons you can program. They've got LEDs that light up again, you can program. And um, they're packed full of sensors. They have an accelerometer, a compass, a thermometer, um, and lots, and different, lots of different things. They've got Bluetooth, they can send and receive messages, they have a speaker and a microphone. They're really, really cool pieces of kit. And the winner uh, of the competition is, if I go back to here, is Jay-Z Gaming. So I'll show you the projects that Jay-Z Gaming uh, did here now. Um, so Jay-Z Gaming uh, had a really cool idea where um, added in some sound into the project and play different sounds uh, depending on the lap. So I'm going to start it off here. So here we go. So hopefully this will play out loud. Oh, maybe my speaker is low. You might have a look at it yourselves in your, there we go, lap one. Oh, I think I can speed this up. Yeah, I can speed it up. Lap two. <laughs> Lap three. Finish. So that was really, really good. I'm very impressed with that Jay-Z gaming. We're going to send out a, I think you're in Atenrai. Uh, and we will send out the microbit to your to your teacher who can pass it on to you. So that's absolutely brilliant coding, some great uh, ideas there, well done. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're gonna be making today. So today we're gonna to be making patterns. Let me start off with the circle. So just making patterns in Scratch, you can see that the circle is following my mouse. 
and it's filling in a pattern and changing the color on each time it kind of stamps in the circle uh, we can do things like we can change the shape that's making the pattern and you'll also see at the end of the snake it's kind of disappearing after five seconds so the, the tail disappears as we move along as well so that's what we're going to be making today okay let me stop that and close it okay oh let me refresh and get the steps here we go okay so we're going to start off uh, so uh, i think we have 251 coders uh, joining us so if you haven't uh, done a code along before i'll give you a quick preview of how these work so we have all the lessons or sorry all the steps in the lesson listed out here and this particular one we have six different steps um, and the way it works is I'm going to demonstrate how to do step number one and then I'll give you some time to go and do step number uh, one and then I'll move on demonstrate step number two and so on when I'm demonstrating a step if you're going to see me in this little box up the top uh, left here and here let me put on my little halo around my mouse there we go you see me in this box here up the top left if you want to click on the full screen uh, while I'm demonstrating a step so you get a nice clear picture of my screen and then come out of full screen go and do the step yourself and then come back to the uh, to the lesson here if you do want to go ahead and work down through the lesson as i can see some of the coders are already doing that's no problem work work ahead at your own pace um, but if you want to come along with me you can come along with me um, i'm going to do so we're going to do give away a couple of things uh, as usual we're going to give away a a, a VR headset so this is a VR headset where you put in your phone clicks in there and then there's different apps and games you can get that are free and um, where you can do different experiences like you can be under the water with whales you can be up in space and uh, there's lots of different ones so we're going to give out i'm actually going to give out two of these one for a, a coding quiz question and also i've got some spooky halloween sounds if i can bring them up here some thunder. it should be a wolf howling and then also this kind of spooky laugh at a random time during this lesson, I'm gonna do that spooky laugh. And when I do, if the first person to, so when I do the spooky laugh, the first person to uh, react and put a meh reaction, which is one of these here, will give away one of these two. And then as usual, we will get all you uh, boys and girls to uh, if you want to enter our competition to win a micro bit when you're finished a project put your own idea into the project put something extra into it and then submit it into our codiverse and then at our next code along we'll we'll announce the winner okay so let's get going um, so we're with 252 students ready to go uh, some are already going and um, so let's get cracking okay so step number one all we're going to do is we're going to open up the scratch website here let me move oh, sorry let me move that one out of the way so we're going to open up the scratch website and then we're going to delete the cat sprite so all you need to do is click on the link in step number one it's going to open up the scratch website and then click on create and this is going to open up the scratch project editor it takes a few seconds to load normally and we don't need the cat sprite that's added by default. So you can just click on the little uh, trash icon here and that will delete that sprite. So if you want, want to go ahead and do step number one and then come back and mark it as done. Uh, we've got different Halloween awards today. Um, so we've different Halloween gifts and badges. Um, so th these are all, uh, all have a Halloween theme for today. So I'll give everyone some time to do that. I can see most of the coders have already done step number one. While I'm waiting, I'll just uh, call out some of the coders that I see. So I can see Void Moon, uh, Broad, Broad, Deku, Jay-Z Gaming, who won the uh, Microverse the last time. 
Well done, Jay Z Gaming again. Nuclear, Ketchup, uh, Liu, Ryanzy, C1M2, Biscuit, Gotten Deer, Decob, or DCOB, Goku, um, Mats, Knots, if I missed anyone. I think that's I think I got everyone if I see uh, new people coming in I'll try and call you out as you go along okay so let's move along to step number two so here we need a sprite that we're going to use to draw our pattern so what we're going to do is actually paint or, or draw this sprite um, you can use a box, you can use a circle, you can use a line or a dot, you can really do whatever you want. What I suggest for the, for the first one is to, uh, is to create a circle, it's probably the easiest to do. So what I'm going to do here is, well, I'm going to take off my head first of all, and I'm going to go down here to the bottom right, and I'm going to choose paint a new sprite. So this one here, if I click on that, it will open up this uh, editor where I can uh, create a sprite and all I want to do is select this circle tool here and then uh, I'm going to choose to have no outline on it so if you want you can actually um, I'll do that again so to choose no outline if you want you can draw a circle but have a kind of outline border but we don't want that now and what I want to do is just draw a small small little circle by holding down the left mouse button and kind of dragging it down like so and what i want to do is try and center that so by center that i mean drag it into the center there's a little crosshairs uh, you can use so i'm going to choose the arrow tool to kind of select tool and what i'm going to do is just drag it see that see that little kind of target i'm going to just try and put it right in the middle as close as i can it doesn't have to be exact but as close as you can and once I've done that, I'm going to click back up here on the code tab to get back into my code. And there's my sprite created. So if you want to go ahead and do step number two, which is to draw a sprite. Again, you can do whatever one you want. You can draw a line, you can do a box, a triangle. Um, but I would suggest just drawing a little circle, a little disc for the moment. Okay, so let's see what I got. So I got a broom original. For our badges, these are our badges. We've gifts and we've badges. These badges, there's three different series. There's the original series, there's the um, rare series, and then there's the legendary series. You'll get uh, an original series 60% of the time, a rare series 30% of the time, and then a legendary series uh, badges. They, you get those every 10% of the, of the time. That's the way we have it programmed. We have it coded. Okay, so how are we doing? Okay, I can see 10 coders already have, uh, out of the 17 that are logged in, 10 of those have already comp completed step number two. So I'll give a bit more time for people uh, to keep on working on that. So there's only six steps in this, um, in this lesson so it's not too complicated but it's pretty cool once you once you get it working and, it, and it's starting to create the patterns you'll see for yourself it is really cool oh we'll try and do a voice changer as well uh, we'll do a voice changer competition as well where we'll get somebody can select what voice uh, I'll put on using the voice changer and I'll, I'll call out a um, I'll call out a step in that voice. So we'll move on in a second or two to step number three. And that's where we're gonna program the sprite to follow wherever our mouse pointer moves around. So if you are still drawing your sprite, that's great. Uh, keep on going. Don't get too complicated. You don't have to create any kind of complicated, you know, drawing or, or painting. Really, all you want is just some shape, circle, a square, a triangle, a line, a box, or which is a square. Um, you just want to get one of those and we're going to use that to draw our pattern. Basically, we're going to be creating copies of it as we move along. It's, it's kind of like stamping it. 
and that's what we're going to use to create uh, our pattern okay i can see most of the coders have finished step number two so i'm going to move on to step number three so this is where we're going to get if i look at the preview we're going to get the sprite to follow wherever the mouse goes so you can see the arrow of the mouse they're moving around and then the purple sprite uh, the, the circle following it so to do that all we're going to do is <coughs> excuse me when green flag clicked we're going to go to a random position so just start off the sprite on a random position in the stage area and then using a forever loop so we're going to whatever we put inside here is going to happen forever we're going to move 10 steps so make the the sprite move we're going to say if it's on the edge of this of the stage area anywhere on the edge we're just going to make it stay up by stay in the stage area by bouncing in and then we're going to point it towards the mouse pointer which means wherever your mouse pointer is the sprite will move it's kind of complicated to do that the sprite will move uh, uh will point towards it and move towards it and that's how it will follow okay so i'm going to switch across to my scratch project editor i'm going to go into the events toolbox first of all and get a uh, when green flag clicked and as usual, I'll zoom in a bit so we can see a bit the code a little bit easier. Then I'm going to go into the motion toolbox and I'm going to get a go to random position. So the fourth block down in the motion toolbox. So all that does, you'll see here, is it just starts off the sprite in a random position somewhere in the stage area. <clears throat> and then we're going to go into the control toolbox and get a forever block and join that underneath then back into the motion toolbox we're going to get move 10 steps and put that inside the forever we're going to scroll down a bit in the motion toolbox and get the if on edge bounce and block and if i run this code you'll see it actually what all that does is it when the when a sprite is on the edge if it touches the edge it bounces so it'll just send it back the opposite direction but finally we're going to point uh we're going to point the sprite the sort of circle towards the mouse pointer which once i put this in it'll always move to where the mouse pointer is because it's in a forever block so you'll see when i move my mouse pointer around <clears throat> the sprite is following it so quite simple it's only it's only a few code blocks a few instructions but you can see it's quite effective uh, and pretty cool okay i'm going to stop that and i'm going to go across and mark my step as done so if you're following along with me if you want to go ahead and do step number three let's see what i got oh that's pretty cool isn't it a uh, pretty cool kind of graphic graphics effects there of the smoke coming out of the jack-o-lantern while we're waiting let's have a look at some of the badges people are get, uh, have gotten so goku got a scarecrow original jay-z gaming got a hat a witch's hat original void moon got a broom original oh uh, void moon also got a legendary the claw marks that's pretty cool uh teacher cm uh got a wizard hat so maybe that teacher is a wizard uh, what else have we got broad or broad got a spider web original nuclear got a wizard hat gotten deer got a jack-o-lantern um, matt's got a scarecrow jay-z gaming got a spider web biscuit got a book of spells as you can see most of these are originals and then sometimes they uh, you'll get a rare one which is a jack-o-lantern here from the rare series and then even even less amount of times we'll get a legend you'll get a legendary one so i'm just seeing if anyone got any legendary ones while we're going through oh so ryan c got a a, a potion flask from the legendary series okay so let me see so for the next one well i do this one yeah for the next one i'm going to do put on the voice changer so how will i do this so the first person to react with a uh, lol which is the purple one first user uh, 
first student I see reacting with a lol in here can get to choose the voice changer for the next one. So let's see who does it. Who's going to put in the lol? So all you need to do is click on react and then the purple lol, laugh out loud. Anyone? Everyone too busy coding at the moment. So do we have anyone? No reactions. So all you need to do is click on react and then click on whatever reaction you want and it should pop in there. Okay, maybe we'll leave the voice changer for today unless anyone <clears throat> wants to go in and do it. No, still no one. Okay. Well, time's over. We're only at 20 past, so we've loads of time. Okay, if I do see anyone put in the lol reaction, like I put in there, Code Ninja is my username. So if I see anyone put in the lol reaction, I'll let you choose the voice changer. Okay, so how many coders? All right, I can see there's still um, a good few coders need to complete step number three. So I'll give a little bit more time for people to complete step number three. Everyone must be busy coding. Oh, pressed the wrong button, sorry. And we'll also be doing a quick quiz. So I'm just going to ask everyone a coding question and we'll give away the um, the HR, uh, the HR VR headset with the coding question. Okay, so we'll move on to step number four. So to create a pattern, we're actually, we're actually going to be creating copies or clones of our sprite. So whatever you've drawn, a square, a circle, a line, we're going to create the uh, copies of it. So you'll see here. And what we're going to do is uh, create those crop copies. And as you move your mouse around and the sprite follows, it's going to draw. That's the kind of mechanism we're using to draw. And then after five seconds, we're going to delete the clone we're going to delete the copy so the tail end you'll see the tail end here after a few seconds we'll start deleting as well so to do that all we're going to do is add in some new code so we're going to add in so we've already added in this forever and the the three uh, motion blocks here but underneath point towards mouse pointer we're going to put in create clone of myself so that creates it's, and because it's in the forever block it's going to keep on creating that clone keep on creating a copy and then what we're going to put in is a code to say when i start as a clone so when a clone is created it's going to wait five seconds stay on the screen five seconds in whatever place it was created in and then it's going to be deleted okay so let's add in this code let me quickly check if anyone put in the lol reaction no no lol reaction so no voice changer, unfortunately. Okay, so back into my code. I'm going to go into the control toolbox. Let me zoom in here. Control toolbox, scroll down to the bottom of it. And there's a block there called create clone of myself. I'll drag that in and put it underneath point towards mouse pointer. And you'll see that it goes inside the forever block. So when I move now around, you'll see that the, the clone is created. Now we need to add in some code to delete it after five seconds. So I'm gonna move this to here. Then I'm gonna go into the events. No, sorry, it's still in the control toolbox and down the bottom. I'm, I'm going to get when I start as a clone and drag that in. Then I'm gonna go in, or still in the control toolbox, scroll up to the top of it, and I'm gonna get wait one second but we'll change that one to be five. So it's when, it, when the clone is created, it's gonna wait five seconds. And then again, in the control toolbox, right down the bottom, there's delete this clone. 
I'm going to connect that underneath, wait five seconds. So the clone is going to uh, appear, stay wherever on this on the screen it was created, wait five seconds and then be deleted. So let's test it out. So two, three, four, five. Yep, and there we go. We can see each clone only stays there for five seconds. So it's quite a cool effect. It's kind of, and that's where the snake, that's why we call this project Pattern Snake because it's like a snake moving around. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and do step number four to create the clones, let me see what I got. I got claw marks original, I like that one. Has anyone put in a lol? So the offer is still open. If anyone puts in the lol reaction, maybe they're not coming through. Um, or if you want to put, just type into the chat, LOL. Um, if you want to try doing that, then that should put your chat message through after a few seconds. And if anyone puts in LOL, I'll let you choose the voice changer. There's my LOL after going through. So we have just two more steps to do on this. So maybe what we'll do, I'll let people um, have a bit more time to complete step number four, and then we'll do our pop quiz. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask a quiz question um, and hide my video. I'm gonna uh, do a quiz question and whoever gets that right will get the HR, or HR, I keep on saying HR, the VR, virtual reality headset. So let me see, has anyone new come in? I don't see any new users, new students coming in. All the usernames seem to be the same I've called out already. So again, <laughs> If anyone wants to, um, if anyone wants to choose the voice changer, actually, do you know what? I'll just choose it for this one. Okay, because it's Halloween. I want. I really want to use a voice changer. Um, so for oh no, I'll tell you what. We'll do the the quiz first, and then we'll move on to uh, step number five. And I'll put on a voice changer for step number five. Okay, so we're going to do the uh, the quiz. So let me grab, I've created some code here in another window and I'm gonna bring it in. Okay, so here, here's the question. So I have a bear sprite here and I have this code here. Let me zoom in so you see the code. So it says, when green flag clicked, go to X0, Y0. So that's just gonna put the bear in the middle of the stage area and point in direction 90. So point it um, in this direction. So I'll just drag it up and put it, or click on the green flag and you'll see, oh, you won't see because I'm zoomed in. So all that does is it just points it in uh, this direction. So, this code here that I've just added on, this is really what the question is about. So I'm gonna repeat 100 times, move minus three steps, and then move on to the next costume. So it's actually gonna make it look like it's walking, but or the next costume, so it makes it look like it's walking. So my question is, is the bear, so when I run this code, is it gonna move um, to the right? or is it gonna move backwards to the left? So if you put in left or right as your answer, so if you type that into the chat, or forwards or backwards, so is it gonna move forwards or backwards, uh, or left and right, whatever you think, if you wanna put that into the chat, and whoever gets it right will win the 
uh, VR headset. So forwards or backwards, left or right. Here, let me try and get the code up here. So I'll just get a screen grab of that. Go to here. Okay. So we have some, so uh, Jay-Z Games has forward right. <laughs> Goku says forward and backwards. Is that, that's both, you have to choose one, forwards or backwards. Uh, we can't do the quiz, teacher won't, won't show you. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, not, not to worry if you can't. Um, see if there's any more. I'll tell you what, I'll, unless someone does it quickly, I'm gonna give it to, uh, to Goku. So Goku, it's actually backwards. So because, let me go back to the code. Because we're doing minus three here in move uh, move steps, it's gonna move backwards. So when I click on the green flag, you'll see it changes costume and it moves backwards. Okay, so we will give that to, we'll give that to Goku. So Goku, we'll send out the, um, the HR, or, that's the third time I'm after doing that, the VR headset to Goku. Okay, so I'm gonna move on and do step number five, which is change the color, and I'm gonna put on my, gonna put on a voice changer. So, I could be this one, this one, this one, or this one. Um, I think I'm gonna do, yeah, I'll, I'll stay with this one, I kinda like this one. Okay. So let me zoom out. So step number five, change the color. So to make to make the, the snake look even better, we're gonna change the color of the sprite each time, which means that the copies, the clones we're creating, will all be different colors. So let's have a look at the preview. So we can see here as the, the clones are being created, they change color, or each time one is created it changes color. So it kind of adds a cool uh, rainbow effect to the pattern. So to do this, all we need to do is add in one block, which is change color effect by five. And we're gonna put that in underneath create clone of myself. So let me switch across to scratch and I'm gonna add it in underneath here. So we're gonna change the looks of the, of the sprites. We're gonna go into the looks toolbox and we're going to get, where is it? Change color effect by 25. Drag that in, and we're going to change 25 to be 5. And now, when I click on the green flag and run my code, you'll see that the color changes each time, which really adds a cool effect to the pattern you're creating. Okay, if you want to go ahead and do step number 5, change the color, let me see what I get. Have I got a GIF? which is a knitted cat <laughs> jumping into a knitted pumpkin and then scaring the life out of each other. Oh, I forgot I've got the voice changer on. Right, I'll, uh, I'll take it off now. There we go. <laughs> so Goku says thank you. Yeah, well done, Goku. And I'll give a little bit more time for people to finish step number five, change the color. I can see a lot of people have actually finished the project already, so well done. If you have finished the project and you want to be in with the chance to win the microbit, you want to be in with the chance to win the microbit, um, have, have a think about what, what you can add into the project, your own idea into this pattern snake project add in some extra code, um, your own idea, and then submit it into our Codiverse. Um, so you just click on Codiverse up here. Oh, not presenting. So click on Codiverse, and then click on Share Now. Um, you'll get the instructions, 
And again, make sure to click on the share button in Scratch so that it is actually shared publicly and then get the link, paste it in here, give your project a name, and you know, what your idea is and send it in and then the winner will get a microbit. Microbits are really cool. Uh, apart from programming them themselves, um, you can you you can actually get extra p pieces of kit for them. So this is a robot car which actually has a microbit in it as the brains. Um, it's got different sensors, so it's got a sonar sensor, so it can detect how far away it is from something. It's got two motors which you can control and make a turn either way, reverse or go forwards. It's got a claw which you can open and close. It's got line following sensors underneath here, so it can actually follow a track that you can draw a track with a marker and it can follow it. It's got different LEDs you can light up. So that's actually a really cool car. Um, over here is a robotic arm, which has a microbit in it. If I bring it, tilt it, maybe you'll see that there's a microbit there. Um, and you can move the the robotic arm and there's a claw on it that you can uh, open and close as well. So my, once you do get a microbit, there's actually extra things. And uh, microbits are cool on the, by themselves, but there's extra pieces of kit you can get as well. Okay, so enough of that. So let's now finish off. So one step to go, and the final step is to add, is step number six is to add costumes. So, um, whatever whatever sprite, whatever shape you drew for the first costume, we're going to add in extra costumes. And um, I think I showed you in the preview at the start, I had, a dis I had a circle, I had a triangle, and then I had a line. And, I'll, and we're going to add in some codes to let you switch between the costumes. And it just lets you create different patterns um, with the different costumes of the shape. So all we're going to do is um, we're going to edit our our sprite and we're going to add in a second costume and so you, if you did a circle the first time maybe do a square or a triangle the second time and then we'll add in some code so if you do want to follow along with me and see how I do it uh, I'm going to demonstrate it now so I'm going to go into scratch I'm going to get rid of my head and I am going to so my sprite one is selected and I'm going to go up here to the top left and click on costumes. And you'll see that this sprite has got one costume. What I want to do is down the bottom right, bottom left here, is I want to paint a new costume. So click on that paint icon, icon and it creates a second costume here. It's blank at the moment. So all I'm going to do is choose the line tool. Um, it doesn't really matter what color maybe make make it about six or seven in width so it's not too uh, small and then all I'm going to do is just quickly draw a triangle like so very easy again I'm trying to draw it in the center um, near that target if you want you can actually select it and drag it oh can I not drag you oh why is that not working oh uh, yeah why can't I drag? Oh, there we go. And you can center it in the little target if you want. It's not super important, but it just kind of it's cleaner if you do it that way. And then I'm going to go back into my code. So all I'm going to do is add in some code of when I uh, press the space bar, it's just going to go on to the next costume. So to do that, I'm going to go into the events toolbox and get a when space key pressed and drag that in create a little bit of space so when space key pressed and then into the looks toolbox and get next costume and bring that in so when I let me zoom in when I press the space key which I'm doing now you probably hear it it switches between the costumes which means when I'm drawing something I can switch press the space key and switch to my different costume and you can create a different pattern. So it's really cool. Really simple, but really cool. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and do step number six, and again, you can create as many costumes as you want. You can create five costumes. You know, it doesn't just have to be two. Um, so just create them different, you know, different shapes, uh, 
uh, play around with it and, and see uh, maybe you might you know come up with something really cool okay so how are we doing okay so it looks like most coders have already completed the uh, comp completed the project so well done to all of you um, so if you haven't completed the project uh, keep on going um, you um, uh, we always leave up all our code alongs on our site so all the instructions are there we'll always put the video oh let me zoom out we always put the video the recording of the day of the code along back in here so you can always play it back afterwards if you need to um, so that's it for today uh, hope you enjoyed that hope you have a great break and um, we are going to do a code along next friday so if you are at home and you want to join in um, then please do it'll be at 11 a.m on friday so the same time as uh, as today but next week we're going to do another code along actually what one are we going to do um, let me quickly check live code along so the next one we're going to do oh we're going to be doing an arcade project and um, so this is different uh, to scratch this is uh, this is a coding uh, language or coding coding website specific specifically for creating arcade games and um, again it's using blocks so it's it's easy enough to use and um, so if you can do join us next friday at 11 where we'll be doing the arcade project our first arcade project um, and we'll also announce the winner so if you want to submit your pattern snake projects in to our codiverse we'll pick one of them out and we'll announce the winner to give the microbit away uh, at that so that's it for today um, uh, thanks very much for joining in oh i think i have a adam's family gif to put in if you bear with me jump back to here and hopefully that will go in there we go yeah so spooktacular coding today everyone and um, so hopefully see everyone next friday if not have a great uh, great break and we'll see you soon bye